Nick Nat Paddywhack, give a man a hammer and he'll go rock handing all day long. Rock with me. Rock with me. Taking a look at these faces along here, and hopefully we can uh, find some good specimens. But it's not looking great, and it's looking dangerous. You just take a look at the stone up there. That's just totally loose and ready to fall. I'm scared if I might pass wind, that one of that lot might come down. We're sort of getting into the place, and I've just spotted a bit of graffiti. So there's been some lads down here. I don't know if you can see that. Is that an alien? I don't know if that's out of some film or not. I mean, if you recognize it, please just drop it in the comments. But it's a, a well abandoned place. I just love that rock face over there. I just keep looking round at it. There's another one. And these are characters are out of that hit film by Stephen King, I think. A bit more graffiti. Oh, there's a good bit more this side as well. They're nice, aren't they? I didn't expect them out on a rock handing day. But I suppose this is an abandoned film as well. You know, uh, an abandoned quarry. It's just hoping, you know, we find something good. This is a, a lime quarry. And they've all, all have been here, it's for the stone. So there's probably no fluoride here, chlorite, or even, uh, uh, you know, lead and galena and things like that. They might be, I don't know to be sure. We've just got to get in here and have a look. I'm just checking this bit hat here. And I don't know if they've dug this out of the quarry, but this is a, you know, bits of little of flint. You know, they're a bit too small for taking for rock tumbling and stuff. But uh, you can definitely see it. I don't know if they've been brought here or if they've, uh, you know, actually quarried it out. I'm uh, going to keep my eye out, just in case there's some bigger bits. You know, I mean, that's a nice looking pit. Look at that little bit of red in there. We're living hope, living hope. There's a bit more graffiti in this uh, bay, would you call them, bays? But uh, this does look like it's had flint in it. There's quite a big, a lot of these little bits, can you see what I'm saying? I mean, they're nice uh, and that, but just too small to do anything with, I think. But I don't know if this has been brought here from somewhere else. You know, there's the odd bit of graffiti and all. But this is definitely, you know, are we going to get to a bigger size stone in the next bay? Definitely gravel, not 
the sort of thing you'd find in the quarry. I don't know if this has been pour, brought here at a different time. And these bits, don't know what to do with it. I was hoping for just a little bit bigger than this. Would be nice, you know, for the rock tumbling. Keep shooting you a bit of graffiti. Into the next bay and see what there is. Another bit of graffiti. Good bit of wire that somebody's been stripping. Plenty of pebbles, but nothing of any size. I don't know if you can look at this wall along here and uh, if you can spot anything. But uh, we're going to have a quick look here. Come in closer. Look here. I think they're calcite crystals. I don't know if I can chip any out. Chipping it out, I'm sure. Looking a bit. Well, that's a nice piece, anyway. I want to get plenty of calcite if I can from here because uh, I want to do an actual tumble on it. That's in the face, big time. Is that a pocket? Gonna be here a bit, I think. Uh. Yeah, that's calcite in there, definitely. Uh, and how am I gonna get them out? I don't know. Give me a few minutes and we'll see what comes out. Got a few more lumps of calcite. I don't know if you can check that out like that piece. And uh, there's a bit here I'm gonna have a knock at again and see what I can do. But uh, I don't know if this piece is in a hole though. It sounds hollow, can you hear that? The difference. In the hard stuff just a minute ago. And the sound of this. Now it's breaking away in very little crystals, which is not ideal, but will we reveal anything better underneath? Bits. There's a lot of little bits. Now, I don't know if you can see in this hole there. Uh, I'll bring the camera right up. There's some dog toothed crystals here. I don't know how you can get in there. I mean, I'd love to just be able to bang that bit of rock off there. But I don't think I brought the right hammer. And I don't think I brought the right chisel. I'm not even making an imprint on that. But let's get a good wump. How about that side, look? Put lean over here, look. Lean your head in. They're not there. In the cave, in like it's the thingy there, look. Yeah, I want to take this off here, in there. Yeah, it's just going to be more bits like calcite, innit? Smash through that bit up there, look, straight in. One 
trying to do is avoid that if I can. Because what I'm doing there is just shipping it out, banging all the little bits up. You know what I'm saying? But if you look here, yeah, you see that. Can you see that there? This uh, flat side with a bit of rock this side, it's got loads of little dog teeth on it. And that would be nice if I could get it. But I see a movement. I should have brought, oh, I broke that a bit too small. What's that fissure there, Cap, with a point? Well, that's what I'm looking at. Can you see that? Little dog teeth. Put your camera in that gap, that split, the point I mean, yeah. That all will loosen that shit. Ooh, having a little bit of success. tight in there now the smash doing a swap over here see what we can get on the case if it's gonna uh, that's coming look at that bit of magic coming on there yeah look at those crystals wow nice bits and that's a pocket full in a pocket full of crystals I don't know if we're gonna have all them out today they're a bit small we've got a good few samples here I'm just gonna have a look in here this pocket is going quite way back there and then you can see these I don't know, that one's a bit loose an actual dog tooth you see that? yeah but I brought the wrong chisel and I don't think we're going to get right in deep there a lot of them loose We'll have to check that out another time. These cliff faces, they go up so high, and then there's a rock sitting at the top. Frightening, eh? There's a lot of cliff faces, and there's gonna be a lot of work to walk all those cliff faces, you know, to see what. But I do know that this quarry isn't gonna hold a lot of different gems. Probably calcite is going to be the main one. But uh, I'm going to take a bit of time to have a look. I don't know if you can see that from down here. I'm going to put it on a ice rope with this. A right big cluster there of calcite and a few bits. And I just can't get up there to get it. Yeah, I'm just uh, cracking a few or three bits here. And that's a piece I've come for. That's dead heavy. That's Galena in Feltspar. I don't know if I'm going to find any more bits like that. This is a, a piece to come in for. Here we've got felt spore 
and Galena. You see that? And then when we come up further on, we've got calcite. You see that? All the way along here. Now I'm gonna have to have a chip of that piece there. I've got the uh, bolster chisel somewhere. We'll have a crack at that. Sort of getting into these rocks. Chip the piece off there, that's a fair bit. I don't know if there's crystals in that or not. Super crack. It's weird it's got the weight though. There's not crystals like in that other bit. I, don't th I think this is just more felt spar. There's got to be some lead in it because of the weight of it. I'm actually finding a bit like that that I wanted to come out and just don't want to come out. I can see that it's just going to keep shattering every time I get to it. here and this is obviously iron oxide and I'm getting up and I can see I mean look how red that is how red that is and it's dripping down here all the time and right up there there's clusters like barite clusters I'm not sure exactly if they are or just calcite they look nice don't they can you see them they look nice but, There's loads of it. Crystals fostered on. But they're not strong enough. If you look close, if you look close, they're not strong enough to do anything with. Can you see that? There's lots of it. The actual colours of this uh, iron oxide that's come down, you don't half make a pretty scene on the rocks. You know, the way it keeps changing from one colour to another. Stripes and stuff. You know, we're heading up there to that where that pink is to see what that sort of thing is. But I've got to keep me in mind that there's yet another cliff face down here, which is quite a way down. You know, you've got to keep it in mind that these places are dangerous and you shouldn't be here by rights, you know. So, you know, if you're just doing this other thing. And then we come down here all this way and look what we're finding. Golf balls. You know, this is right in the bottom of the quarry and there's golf balls. Somebody's been uh, practicing down here. Why or not, I don't know. We take a look at that. It's pretty, isn't it? 
flowing down and flowing up. This is being formed as we, yeah, if, you know, come back in a few thousand years time and there might be crystals here. But look, this, I don't know if the water's splashing onto it, but it's actual, that's floppy, you know, stalagmite sort of field fields. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I can't believe it. We was right the way down there, where that orange and stuff was. You know, the uh, rusty looking bit right in that corner. And we've come right the way up here. It's been a bit of a walk and my legs are tired. And we found very little. Bit of calcite, a bit of galena. And I say a little bit, I'll show you when I get home. But this is the end of the year. Captain Show video. I'm thankful for all the people who come and comment and subscribe and like. It's uh, really warmly welcome. Uh, and I, I am shattered. And this old pit here took two million years to form. And then in 200 years, man took it all out. And it's laid empty for, I don't know, probably the last 50 years. Nothing happening here. It's a, uh, you know, weird what we do to the face of the earth. Thanks for watching anyway. And uh, please come back.